What's up everybody, Animex here, and in this video, I'll be adding yet another part into the What If Naruto Had a Zanpakuto series. This is due to this series not really having light goals on it in general, and me just continuing the series at my own pace. So, here we are, once more, back at you guys with another video. I'll be continuing the series on the channel regardless of the light goal for now, but for all of you that want another part tomorrow, maybe instead of what tomorrow's next what if should be make sure to smash the like button because if you guys want another part tomorrow the like goal for that the daily like goal is 4,000 likes anyways as usual i'll be recapping the last part of the what if then jump into the new material so without further ado let's get started <laughs> In the last part of the what if, we were in the beginning of the tune-in exams with Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura all making it past their little their little scrap, their little their little endeavor with uh, Rock Lee. Sasuke was actually able to show off his abilities, and Naruto was rather impressed by this. Now we did go through the first exam of the tune-in exams, and during this part, we saw that Naruto was able to use his Shunpo or his Flash Step to a new level. Right? We saw that he's basically able to increase the speed so much so that even Chunin level ninja. Ninja, even special Joni level ninja, when Naruto moves at full speed for a brief second, are not able to notice that his afterimage is not the true real Naruto, almost forming a doppelganger. Now, during this, we basically saw that Naruto was able to flex his speed and use it to cheat. You know, instead of like, you know, being subtle about it, Naruto just decided to go with overwhelming amount of physical ability. But because of this, because of this strategy, Naruto's spiritual pressure, his Ryatsu, his really secret was found out by a sand ninja, found out by another person who may have been like him, someone named Gara. Now, when Gara looked at Naruto and saw this, he was pretty perplexed by this. You know, he was pretty interested in Naruto, and he just decided to find him and hunt him down in the forest of death. Now, we did leave off in the forest of death with Sasuke being bitten by the curse marker, being sealed by the curse mark seal, and Gara absolutely bodying Naruto. So that's where we're going to jump right back into the story. Now, like I said, we left off with Gara absolutely bodying Naruto and leaving him for dead within the forest. As Naruto lies on the ground, blood is spilling from his body and seeping into the earth, bringing him that much closer and closer to death's doorstep. Naruto is just barely clinging to consciousness, trying to manifest enough strength to even lift his head and look up. But as he tries this, he feels an enormous amount of pain in his chest and his head will drop once more. The only part of Naruto's body that seems to be working just fine is Naruto's right hand, which is gripping his sword with his knuckles white from the strain of it. For some reason, even upon being slashed and stabbed by Gara, Naruto never let go of his sword. Strange. As Naruto feels all of his strength leaving his body, he hears a faint voice right next to him talking. Naruto? You, you were Sasuke Uchiha's partner, right? Naruto remembers his voice and glances up with his eyes to see Bushy Brows, who challenged Sasuke from earlier, standing right next to him. Rock Lee then kneels down next to Naruto and sees that Naruto has lost a large amount of blood. Who, who could have done this to you? Rock Lee wonders this because Naruto was said to be faster than even he was with one of the gates being unlocked. The only person who should be fast enough to catch you should be me and Neji, but Neji's attacks don't do this. And I sure didn't do this. Rock Lee then tries to think of any large threats, but can't think of any. Naruto then moves his hand and grabs Lee's leg. S Sakura. Sakura. He repeats. Sakura? What about Sakura and Naruto? Naruto then slams his hand into the ground, as he knows that he is about to be in a tremendous amount of pain, but turns his body over so his face is now pointed towards the sky and he can see clearly. <sighs> Sakura is alone in the forest trying to care for Sasuke. Ah! I need to go find and protect her. Naruto then slams both of his hands into the ground as he forces himself to stand up, with blood dripping from his chest. His vision blurs and his body sways. Bushy Bros, I know we are on separate teams, but you did seem nice enough, so I'm going to warn you. A genin named Gara did this to me. I didn't even have a chance to defend myself. If you see him in this forest, you have to run away. Do you hear me? He'll kill you. If you won't or can't run away for some reason, you must go all out against him from the beginning. The only hope is to knock him out or kill him before any of his true power can be released. Because once he does this, there's no way any of us here will be able to stop him. Naruto then starts coughing as he spits blood to the ground. 
I'm an example of what Gara can do. Before I head off, I need a small favor though. Lee nods, saying that he can help Naruto a bit. May, may I borrow some of the bandages on your arms? Lee then looks at his arms, then back to Naruto, who might die from blood loss if he doesn't wrap up his wounds. And Lee then nods and heads and basically nods his head and unravels a bit of the bandages on his arm, then tears it off for Naruto to wrap on his body. Naruto thanks Lee, then removes the top half of his shahak show and wraps his body up with the bandages. Thank you, Bushy Bros. I won't forget your kindness. Lee then nods and leaps off with Naruto being tasked with finding soccer in the woods. Naruto then takes in a deep breath as, a, as Ryatsu starts charging back up in his body. Alright, Sakura. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna make sure you're okay. He then uses Shunpo and disappears off. For the first step of Shunpo, Naruto leaps to the center of the stage, leaps to the center of the forest exams. After realizing Sakura isn't there, he takes a another huge step and is able to see that Sakura is near a riverbed, with both her and Sasuke being okay. Naruto is happy to see this, and leaps out into the clearing as well. Sasuke turns around and sees Naruto, and initially cracks a bit of a smile. As he looks at him though, that smile quickly transforms to concern as he sees that Naruto is leaving a trail of blood as he takes steps. Sasuke and Sakura see one of Naruto's legs lose strength, and he starts collapsing, although both of them arrive in time to catch it before falling. What happened to you, Naruto? Sakura explained that you told her to leave, but she wouldn't explain anything else. Naruto chuckles when he hears Sasuke being concerned and opens his mouth to speak. <laughs> Funny story, actually. I. Naruto's voice then trails off and his face turns deathly pale. Oh no, 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 no. I was far too careless. Grab the scrolls and grab my shoulders now. Sasuke and Sakura are both confused by this sudden change in attitude and demeanor and look at Naruto really perplexed. Naruto, what's going on? Sakura asks this thing, kind of getting scared herself, and Naruto notices this and tries to put on a brave face, trying to show the nonchalantness that he feels. Nothing you need to worry about if we just hurry, but we need to go now. Sasuke identifies a presence approaching them quickly, a presence that has, well, more power behind it than anything that he's felt from Naruto, and understands what Naruto's saying. Sakura, let's lis listen to Naruto and go. Hurry up, grab the scrolls. Sakura and Nons as they both grab onto Naruto's shoulders and he uses Shunpo to escape from that place to the center of the forest and finish the Forest of Death exam. Or at least finish that part of the exam. Naruto then lets Sasuke and Sakura get off his back or get off his shoulders as he falls to one knee. Sasuke and Sakura look at Naruto thinking that he's crazy or at least Sakura does as Naruto is sweating like crazy and breathing heavily. I'll explain after this exam is over but for now I need you guys to stay away from that guy at all costs. Naruto then points to Gara, who is standing alone, away from everybody else, isolated. Even from a distance, Naruto feels an inescapable feeling of helplessness when looking at him. Naruto then struggles back up to his feet. Let's just hope that we won't have to fight him in the next part of this exam, because if we do, we're done for. As Naruto says this, Haruzin along with the proctors for the exam, herd everyone together and start explaining the preliminaries. After explaining thoroughly, everyone has their matches selected for them just like how they would in the original. Sasuke bodies his opponent just like how he would in the original, along with Sakura tying with Inu in their match. Naruto and paired up with Kiba, however, and you know, they, when they see each other, uh, Kiba thinks that he has a weak opponent, or at least has never noticed Kiba in general, and Kiba leaps in joy, or has a leap of joy at the prospect of getting to go against someone as weak as Naruto. When seeing this, Naruto shakes his head and just, you know, jumps down into the arena. Naruto starts reverently stretching or feverently stretching to make sure that he doesn't hurt himself and trying to be careful not to reopen any of his previously acquired wounds. Haha, <laughs> lucky me! I get to fight one of the weakest genin here! Good stuff, Akamaru! Kiba then high fives Akamaru and tells him that he could sit out of this fight. Naruto then just bows out of respect before apologizing. I'm sorry. Kiba looks confused when Naruto apologizes and does this and tilts his head in confusion when Naruto says this. I'm sorry? What do you mean? Naruto then looks up. Oh, uh, I'm sorry that you had the misfortune of facing against me. Kiba's temper then gets out of control as he leaps at Naruto full speed as soon as the match starts and swipes directly at him. Naruto easily sidesteps this and kicks Kiba in the stomach which sends him flying right back into the wall. As Naruto breaks his foot down, he sees Minato, who is standing next to him, and whispers something into his ear. 
kind of like that idea. All right, Dad. I'll try that out when I get the chance. Kiba then gets out of the wall rubble and looks at Naruto, his eyes full of anger, resentment, and embarrassment. <sighs> you bastard. I'll tell you apart for that. Kiba then gets down on all fours before charging chakra into each part of his limb and each into his body. Before this happens, Naruto appears in front of him and stomps on Kiba, slamming him into the ground. Naruto removes his foot from Kiba's back before leaping back to his initial position. Come on, I'd like to finish this without hurting you too much, if at all possible. Naruto then has a coy smile that dances across his face. His eyes gleam with excitement and Kiba is just filled with more and more rage. Now, when Naruto says this, Kiba decides he's going to eat a chakra pill and amp himself many times over. Let's see you dodge this! He then tosses a food pellet to a comedy before jumping onto Kiba's back, turning into the beast human jutsu. Fang over fang! The two then launch themselves at Naruto. Naruto tries to jump over this attack, but notices that his legs aren't responding for some reason. D damn it, looks like I haven't fully recovered. Naruto then decides to test out his father's suggestion and divert his Ryatsu into his chest. As soon as Kiba and Akamaru hit this part of Naruto's body, both of them stop spinning and collapse into the ground. Both of them laying nearly unconscious from that attack, with Kiba barely even being able to get up. <laughs> he seemed pretty resilient, but I really should end the fight here. Naruto then looks at Kiba while he's on the ground. Why was your body so durable? Naruto then just, just chuckles at this and just, you know, decides to continue on with the fight. Naruto then holds his right hand up to Kiba's face and starts charging. I apologize once more because I haven't mastered this enough to hold it back. Naruto then starts chanting, the words flowing into his brain and Kiba not really knowing what these words mean just sits there, or unable to move, just sits there and just looks as something charges in Naruto's hand. He then utters the Hado word, Shakaho. A fireball then starts forming in Naruto's hand as it shines brightly throughout the arena. Just as the blast releases, Kakashi appears and moves Naruto's hand straight into the air, diverting the blast into the air as well. He holds his hand up. Naruto, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot be firing off attacks at this magnitude against opponents who have already lost. You know better than that. Naruto then nods, apologizing to Kibo and heading back up to the stands. After a few other matches, Rock Lee is then pit up against Gara. Naruto passes by him, giving him the advice he previously did in Lee nods. As soon as the match starts between them, Lee holds a thumbs up to Mike Guy, telling him that he's going to have to go all out against his opponent. He then removes his weight before even asking. Lee then opens the first gate. Then he rushes at him. Kicking him in the chest, then hitting him back down, bouncing him around, and then hitting him with the, the first Lotus. Then, before he gives Gara even time to recuperate from that, he opens the second gate, rejuver, rejuvenating himself and just allowing him to continue. And he continues to open all the gates until he hits the fourth gate and he's ready to finish this fight. He then rushes at Gara and starts bouncing him in the air, juggling Gara and not giving him enough time to think. Mere instance after this, he opens the fifth gate. The final gate that he can open before landing his final blow and slamming Gara into the ground. Wow. Did he actually finish that monster off with that attack? Impressive. Naruto then feels something is off and tightens his grip on the, his handle. After Rock Lee performs his attack, he limps away from Gara before collapsing from exhaustion and internal damage from the gates. He then holds a thumbs up to my guy. I think I did it, guy. I think I did it. As this happens, Lee has a huge grin on his face, happy in his success. Naruto is about to forget about his previous uneasiness and congratulate him on his win, but Naruto feels it again. This monster is bloodlust. No, it's not bloodlust. It's spiritual pressure. No one else can sense it. He just realizes that, and Naruto then yells to Rock Lee, He isn't down yet! Move! Lee then turns back and sees that Gara has stood up. You bastard. You really did it now. You really drew blood from my body. For that, you'll pay. Gar then removes sand from his gourd, releasing Bower and giving him his Zanpak toe. I'll kill you! Sink with me, Kurama! Naruto instantly transforms himself into a Shikai and amps his speed to the absolute max as he leaps from the edge of the railing and rushes down to Rock Lee. Just as Gar's blade is about to connect with Rock Lee's body, Naruto appears and knocks the blade away. Now, Overcome with conviction to save his newfound comrade, Naruto stands in front of Gara, who previously struck a tremendous amount of fear into his heart. He is now standing in front of confidently. 
Watch it, Gara. Attacking me is one thing, but if you attack him once more, I'll have no choice but to stop you. Gara's eyes then change from anger to crazy as he sees Naruto interfering. Stop me? I nearly killed you hours ago. What makes you think you can keep up with me? Gara then uses Shunpo and attacks Naruto. You are done for. Naruto quickly spins around, catches his blade in one of the holes within his Shikai before wrenching the sword from Gara's grip and holding his blade to his throat. Give it up, Gara. You can't compete with me when I'm in my Shikai. Last time wasn't an accurate representation of my bower. Gara then chuckles as he walks past Naruto, surpassing his speed even more, touches his shoulder, and then walks past with Naruto not even registering this movement. Oh, is that so? I can't keep up with you like this? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. You're still just a weakling. He then walks past Naruto without a second thought, leaving Naruto searching for the end to Gara's strength. As Naruto is standing there, my guy leaps down and commends Naruto on his quick reaction and thanks him for saving his pupil. And Naruto then nods before walking away. I need to get stronger. I have to defeat Gara still. And that, everybody, is where I'm going to end part 6 to the What If Naruto Had a Zanpakuto series. If you guys did enjoy and want another part to this tomorrow... You know, make sure to hit the like button because the daily like goal for this is 4,000 likes. Don't know if you guys will actually be able to hit 4,000 likes in 24 hours on this series. Not 100% sure how this, this part will do. Um, but, you know, this, this series will be continuing regardless of um, whether you, or not you guys hit a certain like goal. I will just be continuing it just because I have a genuine passion and just desire to want to continue this what if. It's combining two of my favorite anime and manga, Naruto and Bleach. So, how could I not love it? Anyways... As usual, I'll leave links to my social media and all that good stuff down below, including my Discord, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff down below, including when I'm starting to do my second channel. I'll make sure to leave that in the description below as well. If you guys are new to the channel and this is your gateway series, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you guys don't miss out on more Naruto content and, you know, Naruto Bleach content in general. Because if this type of series gets support and this like these type of videos start doing well, then I can really know that I can expand in my, my series and my storytelling abilities. So, just show your support through the like button, sharing it, do whatever you guys gotta do. Now, as usual, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, guys, this is Anime X. Signing off.